<coughs> Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stuart, or Blazing Valhalla. Um, you will notice that my name is officially now changed on all platforms to Blazing Valhalla. It used to be Scorch, it's now Blazing. Um, I actually joined a new team um, called Team Valkyrie. So I decided to go back to my original name. This is a name that I've had for many, many years. Um, I just want to say a, a quick shout out to Team Valkyrie. They are an amazing, amazing team of gamers that are trying to do more than just gaming. Um, we are trying to be a team that is going to champion causes such as mental health. Um, we are going to be a team that is going to be inclusive. We are going to be a team that just makes people enjoy making content. That's the aim of this one. Um, but for content that is coming up, uh, just before we do start the video, for content that is coming up in the next couple of weeks, we've got Euro Truck Simulator coming back. We've got some House Flipper that's going to be coming back as well, um, uh, with a Garden Flipper, I think, as well. So that's going to be good. Um, and we also have some other games that will be coming on as well. Plus, we will be getting back into the indie series because I absolutely love indie games, not just indie horror games, but indie games in general. They're really, really cool. Um, I often find that some of the indie games are actually better than some of the AAA titles and get me more invested than some of the AAA titles do. And on that note, great segue, this is Marie's room um this is an indie game which is on itch.io you can donate to the creator as well or you can get the game for free on there i will put the link in the description down below um this is a short interactive um story based game um and it's designed to be played in one sitting um so i'm going to dedicate a video to just this game and we're going to have a look around and see what the crack is. Yep. So this is Marie's room. It's a short game designed to experience in one session. No save games are supported in this room. Um, you may notice that my, the webcam is not quite up to scratch as well. I do apologise about that, but that is um, something that I'm trying to work out. I am recording with the same day as I recorded the previous indie game video. So. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Oh, okay, there's actually voice acting. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow, this looks... yeah. Oh, they change. That's cute. Hmm. How you have to hold the door when you're out. Okay. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Shutting boss. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? <laughs> I like going through pictures and looking at my hair and looking like, what was I thinking? Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Me too, me too. But we are in COVID, so you know. Wash your damn hands, people. They look like real pictures of real people. Bumblebee. Hmm. Do you have a cat called Bumblebee? How old is this person? That's my question. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. 
because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Okay. It's the general being Last Thermi Paradox. Give something red. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. So we... All those happy familiar faces loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me. Is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept a bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. Being in that situation, I have to serve. Um, and accepting that help is difficult. But... Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Okay. So it seems like we're getting little bits and pieces of the story um, as we go on. <clears throat> but yeah, don't ever be afraid to accept help of things. Ooh, a world map. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. She must have written it down here somewhere. I'm not a. Hmm. Okay. I'm not a. Bumblebee? Maybe it's Bumblebee. Let's try it. Bumblebee. Damn, what's the password again? Nope. Okay. We're gonna have to find it. We're gonna have to find it. 
can't see if it's written there because of stuff. Let me just check if I can. I'm not sure if I can put all this at Ultra actually, but we will see. see it but yeah have you seen this man <laughs> yeah I've seen him ah uh, yes the science project of all people they chose to pair me with the girl from food rescue Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Fadoos. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. <laughs> Her. A weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Shuffling dots. Me too. Love chemistry. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. Not much. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Uh, interesting. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Oof, that's rough. That is rough. Well, the journal has been updated a few times. So what we will do is we will have a look at the journal in a second because it may, you know, wake me up when I'm famous. I wonder if that's the if that's the password. I'm not famous. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. So it looks like we're Kelsey right now. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed. Yeah, we've, we've seen that. Thank you. That is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, high school kids have classmate from hunger. After the school article, people kept asking me why I did it. As if I was some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story. So they'll stop bugging me, crazy people. Here, for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food and ran. I never realised some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined the food rescue to help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? November the 21st, 
2008. So that was November the 9th. Uh, November the 21st, 2017. Oh my god, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. I don't think she's all that pleased though. I wonder whether she remembers me from the food rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm gonna explode from excitement. <clears throat> December the 22nd, 2017. Why do you keep writing? Just stop. Or why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They're never gonna find them. I wish everyone would just stop and leave us alone so I can forget the whole god awful night. Something my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped. And I would have punched him, scratching his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him. But the other one got me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces. Neither did my dad. So they never caught them. I'm not fearless. Life matters. Loving the chemistry. We're all just matter, that's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb, she says she's got nothing else to lose. Bam, and she doesn't even realise what she was saying. Well, maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me to believe we're your friends. I guess I am a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck, by the way. See if I care. Right, not sure what is going down. Ah. <laughs> just another home invasion, just two blocks from here. They killed a woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. I suppose it was him in our house. I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big, but Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard, but he would never commit such violent acts. Looking at the tall t shirt, I think she might be in denial there. Okay, so it looks like they kind of maybe possibly know the person that broke in. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Oh, God. Uh. A five figure number? Hmm. What was the date? Um, maybe it's a date or something. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. July the 1st, 2018? Maybe. So it'd be... Oh... Seven... Five... Eighteen? I need to find the key. A five figure number. This is just a complete and not shot in the dark, to be fair. God damn it. What is the combination, Marie? Maybe she kept it in here somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> I, d I don't. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Two... Two, fourteen, eighteen, maybe? La La Land. Hmm. That movie was... Oh! I think we've just worked out what it is. Because it was I'm Not. So I think this is going to be Fearless. Damn, what's the password again? Oh, I'm I need to it. find it. <laughs> Damn, what's the password again? 
Never mind. We'll come back to that. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Okay, so this Trevor dude seemed like a... I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Oh, it's gonna be some bad shit. Mm-hmm. Disgusting, but cheap. Um, I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beats the humiliation of being served by Marie. Okay. Seems like you have a bit of an issue. To be fair. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. <coughs> I know he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Okay. Someone she watching. loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Okay, so I think what we're going to do now is going to have a look at the journal again. Just to see if there's anything that's been popped in. The journal. It's the beginning here. I screwed up, but I was uh, December the fourth, twenty seventeen. I screwed up, but I'm so worried. What else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to the food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Ah, uh, why did I do that? I will never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looks at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind with the project too. I hope we make the deadline. Hmm. I try and ignore the fact that all Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. Oh, February the 14th. It was Valentine's Day. Fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night in the theatre. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually frickin' hugged her. And she pushed me away. Asked me what I thought I was doing. And that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends. I'm wondering if this is going to be the code. Like 2 14, 18. Or like... 14, 2, 0, 1, 8, something like that. 
swear jar. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F-words in the pages. I'm so friggin' proud. Ha! <laughs> Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, then it's hard to keep up. Do you know that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly? I'm trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute up to a certain age. But he said Mom hated it, so every time I used the F-word he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. I can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. That would be. Mm hmm. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally, she can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. Ooh. I promised her to swear, so let you go, but she's done with him. Things can only get better. That guy's an arsehole. Number one, douchebag. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me name, and threatening me if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I've got a tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Wow. That's two days afterwards. Holy gizzards. That is quite something. We needed this. Beer, water and oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. Nope, I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. So I haven't actually seen anything as of yet that leads me to the any of the codes. For the safe. Other than two fourteen eighteen, perhaps. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Two. Fourteen eighteen. She must have written it down here somewhere. Well, I don't fucking know where, love, but yeah. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Shadow person. That's going to be the password to the laptop. <laughs> we are in, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Yep. That's the thing. Uh, it says Kitty Gift, by the way. If you, uh, you obviously you can't see it right now. Let me just. Uh, let me. Just move across there. It just says Kitty Gift on the uh, laptop lab. Just kind of cool. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Oh. Oh, that's... cool. Cool. Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there is not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you're ready to talk. Uh, you know where to find me. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. So is Marie dead? 
because I'm getting the sense that she's dead and Trevor is the one that did it One day, I just had to know, what's up with all the cats? She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. You want to be more like a cat? Okay. I mean... Fair dues. Okay, so let's have a look at the journal, see if any uh, new stuff has been plonked in. Because this, this is Marie's journal, and I believe it with Kelsey. Okay, so we've read all of this. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. <laughs> I have uh, two cats and I, I totally agree with Yeah. She called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that if it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. And if he wasn't such a scary ass clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. Hold on, why is the five? Wasn't there another number at four? Three. Okay, so three, four, five. Yeah, because those numbers are circled. Okay, so I think the code to the safe is actually going to be in the journal. Um, I think the more we look around the place, the more it will. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Oof. For my little Marie Curie. That's yeah. Marie's birthday. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. You sure did, boss. You sure did. Okay, so we've got an update in the journal. Anything Disgusting, but no, don't. cheap. Okay. <clears throat> so we do have an update in the journal. She has a cat. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. So it seems like this Trevor dude's not just a douchebag, but he's... Maybe it's drugs or something. Um, and he's buying her all these cool stuff, but... At the end of the day... You know. 
June 12th, 2018. They're not listening. I tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Fuck. Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. I, 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 I oh, I'm not gonna like this. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Nine. Okay. Oh, these sparkly shoes she wears all the time. Last night the heels dug into my car. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mummy's shoes. So it's 4 9 in some way, shape, or form. Oh, that's awesome. Well, happy birthday, Mum. I think we've got everything on these pages. So three... Possibly? Yeah, two or two, yeah. Okay. So three... Maybe three, four, nine... Five? Something? Three, four, nine, five? Maybe? What is the code, Murray? Wait, the journal. It must be in the journal. Three, four, nine, five. So I just need to figure out what the last digit is. And once we figure that out, we will be away. Ooh, take out menu. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Ooh, that's... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not good. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and... I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. That is kind of like something that um, a lot of people would say, like my, my friends would say that as well. Like, hey, just deal a new deck, you know what I mean? It's, it's a difficult thing to do, but dealing a new deck, you know. Sometimes you've just got to... Oh no. Just go back to the beginning and make sure that we're not missing any of the new stuff that's coming in. Kelsey is so angry at the, uh, April the 9th, 2018. Kelsey is so angry at the world, like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs, but cards. Ah, he didn't get her into the dealing, did he? Because I'm thinking that Marie is no longer with us. And I'm thinking that it's maybe Trevor that did it. Or she got involved in something. So 
so we just need to find another couple of things. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Yeah, because it's all like past tense. Mr. Torres loved that beer. What? After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Okay, so we've got the number for the case. There we go. One is the last number, it would appear. What is the code, Marie? That's really well done. Wait. That you found the out. journal. It um, must be in the journal. Sorry. Um, that's really cool that you find out kind of the code by looking through things and getting to know the life and things like that. That's kind of cool. That's, that's a really cool feature. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. Oh my god. Jesus. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything. And he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. 
I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Wow. Um. Wow. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. <laughs> I regret food rescue, I regret, uh, well, let's just go back, actually we'll go back to the beginning just in case there's anything that we have, yeah, I don't think there is, but there's supposed to be something here. Yeah. I regret food rescue, I regret the science project, I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my ability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her. It, it turned out it's all been bullshit and I'm so stupid I should have realised that at Lala night and walked away for good because someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled the trigger, made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet and drip through the cracks it into the floor, where it will remain forever to bear witness to what I'm capable of. Stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this, fix me away from her. I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person, a killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls some intrusive thoughts. But I say the truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I'll go up north to Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday. All of this is long over, and I've dealt with being a murderer. So perhaps this is the... I mean, obviously this is the sending for the... Um, the diary. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. No, that's her parents' room. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. All right. Chill out. Okay, 
games, but that's, that was an amazing game. I don't think I've got everything that I was supposed to get in that game. Um, Lauren Hendler and Daga Blumhand. Lauren and Higgins was casted off. Okay, so I think what's uh, basically what's happened, obviously, is they've kind of um, split that because of this Trevor thing. Marie obviously getting involved, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, you know, basically I think they've taken some time apart, come back together again, and, you know, here they are now. Um, that's a tough one. That was a really, really tough one. It got tougher as it went on. Um, obviously the situation is... Mm, I wouldn't want anybody to be in that. Um, if you are, there is help out there. Um, if you are in a situation like that and you feel like nobody's helping, there is help out there um, for you. The art style of that video is... The art style of that game is incredible. The music was so beautiful as well. Um, I love the sound, um, the sound design. Um, I like the... It wasn't so much puzzle aspect, but kind of finding out things whilst you're getting that puzzle solved. You know, whilst you're solving the password to the laptop and the password to, you know, the case and everything like that. While you're getting that, you know, going through and finding out the history and, and you know, the situation that was going on in little snippets and bits. It was freaking awesome done. It was amazingly done. Um, so yeah, love the art style of it though. Really, really do. Beautiful, beautiful game. Are you a murderer if you do it in self-defense? It's an interesting question, isn't it? To to bring up and to broach up. Are you a murderer if you do it in self-defense? Doesn't matter where you shoot a person if you do it in self-defense. Are you a murderer? Yeah, yeah, she could have gone for the leg like she said, but... I, I personally don't think so. In that situation, I personally don't think so because, you know, you're fighting for your life. Um, so I personally don't think that she's a murderer. I don't think that she should have any guilt on that one. Um, but let me know in the comment section down below if you think different. Um, if you like this game and uh, you like this kind of style of things, um, and really getting into some character... You know, I didn't speak a lot during this one because obviously it was more um, voice acting and vocal talent and stuff like that, so I didn't speak that much. Um, but if you like games like this, please do let me know. Hit that like button. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you get notified whenever I do um, a new video. And thank you so much um, for watching. Everything is in the description down below. Um, and I will see you guys in whatever I decide to do next. I don't... Uh, hmm.